Hi everybody, it's Refresh. I am here to present to you one of the most common board game sleeves you can get, which are from Mayday Games. And these sleeves are the standard quality sleeves, which you get 100 per pack. And a pack of 100 will cost you about $2.25. These sleeves in particular, are euro sized so they are good fits for games like dominion and based on the height of this package at 100 is approximately eight millimeters thick and that means that each sleeve would probably be about 80 microns total so 40 microns per face which is actually quite thin it's still a little thicker than a penny sleeve but it's not terribly thick and at two cents a sleeve it doesn't cost much more than a penny sleeve and let's take a look at what we have inside let's measure the approximate dimensions of these sleeves 62 millimeters across and 91 millimeters tall as you can see the sleeve is clear and glossy on both sides and let's see how it fits the actual card here's a dominion copper Looks like a pretty snug fit. Just a little bit of space on the sides and a little bit of space on top. Not quite as much as Fantasy Flight, but it's a noticeable space on the top of the sleeve. These are very soft sleeves. It looks like not every sleeve is exactly the same. Some of the sleeves actually stick out just a little while others dip in. So it looks like there might be one to two millimeters of total difference potentially between these sleeves. But we'll only be able to tell once we finish sleeving a deck how consistent these sleeves will be. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to sleeve 45 Dominion Coppers in these sleeves and see how long it takes. Go. So the total time was approximately 2 minutes and 28 seconds, which is approximately 3.29 seconds per card. So it seems fairly average. Next up, I'll be doing a shuffle test and I will test shuffling these 45 sleeved cards 100 times. Here we go. Okay, that was three minutes and 20 seconds. That is about two seconds per shuffle. It was a little bit slower. Sometimes it, it was hard to separate the cards as I was shuffling them. These cards don't slide super well into each other, as you can see, so sometimes you have to push down. And if you try to shuffle too quickly, the cards will just clump together. And if you were paying attention to this, sped up video you might have noticed that I did actually end up dropping cards once so it's not the smoothest shuffle I would say that these shuffle not any significantly better than penny sleeves it's fine if you're only shuffling a handful of times but I think if you're shuffling a lot over the course of a game then it might start to feel a little wearisome now I'm going to be doing the shake test where we see if this deck holds together for a two second shake of the table as you can see, it just barely started to slide. These cards are quite sticky, so you actually do have to push it a bit in order for the sleeves to fall over. It is obviously possible that if somebody hits the deck, it'll fall over. But in general, shaking the table 
doesn't seem to have a great impact due to the card stickiness. Now, one thing you might not be able to fully tell is that these sleeves, when they're sitting, they contain some air, and so they don't sit perfectly flat. And so, as you can see, I can push the air out, and then they stick. And then the sleeves, once they're stuck, they don't really want to unstick and move. So these are actually quite stable, especially if you push the air out. Next up is the draw test, where I draw three cards from this deck and see how well the cards draw. Ready? One, two, three. As you can see, nothing really fell apart. The deck holds pretty well together. Again, there's this, a bit of a, this issue where there's this air that kind of suctions the cards together and as you can see, it just kind of lifts the whole deck up. Even though that does happen and the deck can feel uneven, you can still pick up cards pretty easily without much trouble. It's, but it's actually easier when all the air in the deck is out. Say it's freshly shuffled and the air is not out. Then it looks like the cards wiggle a lot more as you draw cards off the top. But otherwise, I feel like pretty confident that this deck is neither going to fall nor are you going to have any significant struggles with sticking cards or cards spilling over as you draw off the top of the deck. As you can see from the top corner of the sleeve, it's bent back a little, and it looks like it took a little bit of bending from the shuffling process, but this does not seem to have happened to every sleeve. Just some of the corners are bent and some of the corners are not. It looks like these sleeves, in part due to their thinness, may be more prone to becoming warped or broken. And sometimes the production quality isn't perfect. There's a little bit of plastic hanging on that one. If you're, if you're not playing a game often, I think that these sleeves will still be okay after some use. Here's a sleeve that is a little bit uneven. You, you might not be able to tell, but the left side or this side of the sleeve is actually a little bit taller than this side of the sleeve. So that's an issue with production consistency. But overall, it looks like the sleeves manage to handle the shuffling fairly well. I do feel like these sleeves are gonna wear out faster than higher quality sleeves or thicker sleeves. Here's another sleeve that took a little bit of bending at the corners. You have the benefit of sleeves that are very inexpensive. These are about a third the cost per sleeve of, for example, a Fantasy Flight or an Ultra Pro sleeve. But in exchange for the relative inexpense of the sleeves, you are going to have sleeves that wear out faster and take damage faster and probably will need replacing faster. So overall, I feel like these sleeves are fine for those that really want some budget sleeves, but the production quality seems a little bit off. These sleeves in particular, some sleeves are taller on one corner and then less tall on the others. Now that the cards are sleeved, you can sort of really tell because you can feel the errant sleeves on the top. So those are the Mayday card sleeves. If you have any experience with these sleeves, both in terms of production quality as well as durability, and you'd like to provide some feedback, I'll have links in the description box below. And you can also find a link to the description box where you can compare the different kinds of card sleeves on my blog at Innate Games, as well as see a link to a text review of these sleeves there as well. So thanks for watching. Hit like for me if, if this was helpful to you. And subscribe if you want to see more card sleeve reviews, as well as other gaming videos. Thank you very much.